Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink number 11. I have Josh here as usual. Hey guys, what's up? And we have a variety of wonderful mm. topics and pen prices to complain about this week. So, Yay. um, yeah, quick, quick update on the channel front. Um, I'm going to try to adhere to an actual schedule now. Um, I've been sporadically uploading videos sometimes every day. Got to <laughs> cut down on that. So new schedule is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with this week on Ink being on Saturday. So kind Ooh, of a schedules. little... Schedules. Yeah, schedules. So some weeks we'll have this week in Ink. Some may not. Depends on if Josh is too busy to pay attention to me. So... Rude. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and get into a few other things. Um, one more quick channel update. I do have a bunch of stuff coming up for review that has been lent to me. So I have the Artisan Cutlery Tactic, which is a ballpoint slash rollerball pen. That will be coming up very, very soon. I believe Monday is the schedule for that one. Um, I have the Finney pen that I'm going to be giving away, actually. I have this Esterbook SD, which came in today. Um, very impressed with the build quality and stuff. Not in love with the nib, but we'll see. It may grow on me after I use it for you know a couple weeks. Um, bunch of knives from Kaiser and to review. Um, some stuff on loan, you know, from them. Um, I think that's about it, apart from stuff in my personal collection. But all that will be coming. But again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with the podcast being on Saturday. Um, was there anything that you wanted to mention before we get started? Um, I'm still a little sick, so if it sounds weird, I, I apologize to everybody listening. I've already apologized to Jake about six times, so... Yeah, six times already. I have not accepted yes. one of those apologies. He oh, start um, accepting them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> real quick, um, what have you been carrying lately? It's still your, your necks. No! <laughs> really? I put my necks down because I lost it at work. Oh, dude. We found it again, don't worry. I just, like, the oh. fear has been brought back to my heart. So I've been, I put it in my, cleared it out, cleaned it out, no inks in it anymore. It's sitting on my uh, shelf. I'm scared to take it anywhere again. Oh, god. It's like when you lose a baby at the supermarket. And you're okay, just like, I don't think it's the same thing. When you're just like, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I lost my baby. Oh, man, I can't believe I lost my baby again. <laughs> this keeps happening, guys. I lost a sub-$20 pen. That's equivalent <laughs> to someone losing their child. The like, exact that's... equivalent. <laughs> I mean, it's probably about as annoying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, I actually, yeah. I actually have some pens that I I may just give to you for like beer pens that are really cheap that I bought recently, so beer you can take pens? those to work. Yeah, beater pens, not beer pens. Beater. Yep, yep, yep. Beater pens. Um, I've been carrying a bunch of stuff for review, but. Um, since I finished the 30 inks 30 days challenge go watch that video everybody go watch it, it turned out really really cool actually Selfless especially since plugging. yeah I did um, some, pen, some pen cleaning while filming underwater so check that out that looks really really awesome really glad with how it came out um, did you do it in a slow motion uh, I know it's actually sped up quite a bit <clears throat> it looks really cool good you haven't watched it I'm, I'm disappointed in you you should be disappointed come on my channel sick. and I haven't watched my videos <laughs> Anyway, um, since I, like, the day after I got finished with that, I <clears> inked <throat> up five different pens with oh my God. with all fall colors. So I have oh, makes sense now. Pilot Momiji, Pilot Roshizuka Momiji, which is, like, fall leaves or autumn leaves, something like that. I have Dye Mine Pumpkin. I have Dye Mine Autumn Oak. I have um, Bung Box Ink of the Witch. And then I have Dye Mine Ancient Copper. So all, like, really earthy tones. Really, really excited for that really really enjoying using this so far i've been carrying some stuff for review um probably going to be using the esterbrook sd over the next few days try, try to get initial impressions on it but yeah um but let's go ahead and go on to the topics unless there's anything else that you wanted to interject with very rudely before we get started i thought your ink of the witch was purple it is it's like a it's um it comes out like a black and then it kind of fades to purple <coughs> It's Halloween. Okay. It's Halloweeny. No, no, no. It is Halloweeny. It's just when you said they were all earthly tones, I'm like. It's like a super duper brown. Dark. It's like orange, orange, brown, purple, <laughs> like copper. And I'm like, <laughs> one of these is not the same as the other. No, it's just like. Make sure a... I wasn't going crazy for a second. I was like, I'm fairly positive I remember this because I like that color. 
Yeah, it's it's um <clears throat> it's like a super mega dark like dusty purple. Ooh, it's, um, sounds sounds beautiful. It's it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> but um, speaking of really really beautiful stuff, let's go ahead and start with the first topic. Segway. The Pelican M six hundred vibrant orange. This it's... looks yellow to me. <laughs> <laughs> Or like gold, maybe maybe that's a better description. It's, gold. I can see in the picture on Nip Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks orange. It has orange in it. It it definitely has orange, but also has yellow. It's yellow gold. It looks like <laughs> amber. Like if you look at amber. You know what um, the swirling stuff looks like to me. That's what it is. It almost amber. looks like like molten gold. If there was like a color for that, or honey maybe. That's yeah. It's like a very. It's like it's kind of like there there are different some amber spots in it, but it looks like amber honey swirl. It kind of does, yeah. Look, I I don't like the amount of honey <clears> in there. I wish it were more amber. So I'm gonna be honest with you. When Actually, I heard, yes, when it kind of does look like honey, which I when, love. Yeah, honestly, I just wish they wouldn't have called it vibrant orange. Oh, when it's I kind of deceiving in the name. Yeah, when I heard vibrant orange, I was like, oh, okay. Again, last time I'm telling anybody in this podcast, it's gonna be <laughs> language. There's going to be adult language for adults, so close your child ears. Anyway, when I heard Vibrant Orange, I was like, oh, fuck, I got to buy another Pelican. <laughs> and I was like, I was like $440, oh, fuck, I'm still going to buy it. And then I looked at it, and I was like, oh, thank God, no, it's yellow, it's fine. <laughs> like, I don't need this. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, they also have a matching ink with it called Edelstein, Edelst- Edelstein, Edelst- I don't know. it's this German word, Mandarin. Um, the ink looks super red, but a lot of orange inks yeah. do look, a lot of orange inks that I have look red when they're in the bottle. So uh, if you look, if you, you, you see, uh, it's like, let's you zoom in. Yes. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, it says Mandarin and kind of an orangey yellow. I'm guessing that's the color it's going to be. I'm hoping so. Is there any color swatches of this? It's very, um... not, not yet, but I, I, I don't own an Edelstein ink so far, so I'd be, I'd be open to buying this. It's not terribly mm. expensive. It's it's there, you know. Yeah. They look really fancy. Well, apparently it translates to the German word for gemstone, and the fact that it's called Mandarin kind of gets on my nerves. Like y'all had so many chances. Don't try to know that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, <clears throat> they they have a pronunciation of it right here. It's Edelstein. Edelstein. So I was saying it. Look, look at that. Edelstein. Josh, <clears throat> did you just pronounce S H T I N E Stein? Stein. What? Stein. Stein. Edelstein. Did I say Edelstein? Edelstein. It, and, uh, wait, like it is Frankenstein. Edelstein. Stein. First of all, Sh- you don't call him Frankenstein. Stein. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did actually mispronounce that because I was trying to, I was thinking more like Dell, like a computer, and I'm like, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought too. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's going to perfectly match this pen, but it looks like it's going to come close. I hope so. It's very pretty. I mean, it's a very pretty. I will say this: if you red. if you like if you like yellows and stuff, this pen, the material on it, if you zoom in really good, the depth on the acrylic is amazing. Like it's so deep and like layered. It looks, I said, it looks like a swirl. It looks organic. It looks very very cool. It's very um, pretty. A lot of depth to the material. A lot of chatoyance. A lot of pop to it. Um. I don't know if I loved the decision to go with gold trim, but I also don't know how good silver would have looked with it. No, I think the gold trim so, was perfect because it's not the same shades. It's not. So it looks really nice together. If it was silver, it would look like there's too much contrast. I guess so. I don't know. I'm still, I still prefer the stone garden over this one. Yeah. But while we're talking about Pelican, oh boy, there has been a price hike on their extra fine nibs. This started oh, wow. over, yeah, this started over mm-hmm. in Europe, and it has now made its way to America. So um, we're on the nibsmith.com. There will be a link down in the description. But if you go to nib size, fine, medium, Ooh, and broad, damn. fine, medium, and broad are all 440. If you want that extra fine, that's literally going to be 400. It's 476 dollars. It's 36 dollars more. 36 dollars more. Oh my god. I don't know how much it costs for a, a nib grinder to fix your nib. But at that point, I would probably just get it in a fine, <coughs> and then have it get a fix, custom something, yeah, customized, because that's 
That's ridiculous. I'd rather get it ground down to an extra fine and get it tuned to exactly how I Honestly, want it for maybe. Though, that's that's you know, ridiculous. That's stupid. That's just stupid. Ugh. Yeah. So that's almost a forty dollar price increase for a slightly thinner line. Hmm. And Pelicans Pelicans nibs are so broad anyway. You, you getting an extra fine is gonna be like you getting a medium, maybe a fine. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, my, my my pelican medium is easily a broad, if not maybe a double broad. It's insane. Jesus. Love it though. Love it to death. But um yeah, so that price increase is substantial. Yeah, that's it's not that's a little bit of money, it's a lot of money. It is. That's too much. Guys, that's uh... I think they're getting a little greedy here. Oh yeah. But, you know, it's up to them. It's their thing. Maybe put out an actually orange pen with this depth of acrylic. Don't get me wrong. I still Shut love up. this. I still love this. But I like $150 love this pen. I don't like $440 love this pen. It's really pretty. To me, it honestly looks like molten honey, which I love. Extremely pretty. A lot of I can't say that about a lot of Pelican pens. I still think they're fairly overrated with the pricing. Oh, they're um, overpriced out the ass, but yeah, the materials they get a hold of is just ridiculous. But it's very pretty. It's just not orange. I hate that it's called vibrant orange. Yeah, and it's... Because I expect, like, race car orange. It's like mango. Not... Yeah. Yeah, so... kind of. Yeah, I'll... a bit of a stretch there with vibrant orange. Uh... You know, maybe vibrant, vibrant gold. Would have been a better fit. Honestly, but... vibrant. If they would have said, like vibrant gold or like gold lava or something like that, some something not vibrant orange, I would have been fine <laughs> with it. Because this is what it looks like. It has. It's beautiful. It's swirly. It's pretty. It's just not orange. <laughs> I'm sure the material adds, like just adds a premium, apart but something that shouldn't be like that. But it's so annoying. Unless yeah. their coloring for it is just absolutely off in the pictures and it actually comes out looking very orange it's stupid yeah it's mm, it's i don't know I, I would love to handle one and see what i think about it um if, if i just absolutely love the material i still don't see 440 considering i paid 500 dollars for a larger pen with um, metal internal parts with also limited edition coloring i don't see you know, sixty dollars less for a smaller pen with plastic parts. And yeah, exactly. I'm not getting that Pelican. That's more like a three hundred dollar tops. Mm. You know, maybe yeah, three fifty. Still a lot, though. No. Yeah, but anyway, speaking of expensive fancy pens, though, let's move on <laughs> to the platinum celluloids. <clears throat> so celluloid is a really really cool material. I don't own any, but I I would love to have it. But I don't own any because they're expensive. Um, I have a Platinum 3776 in, like, the red, the generic, you know, Platinum 3776 line. Um, in, the, in the U.S., those are, like, $160, $170. Um, in Japan, I think I paid 60 bucks for it. These are $384. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, um, two of these I love, but, like, the Jade is probably my favorite. It looks awesome. It looks like jade. Like, it looks like a stone. It really does, though. It's very, very pretty. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a nice shade of green. And the the section is that same material, too. That's awesome. And the gold contrasts with it so well. It does. They did a, They made a really good decision with this one. Oh, it, it looks immaculate. I love it. Like, if I was buying any of them, it would be this one. It's it's awesome. Um, I will say if you're interested in buying one of these, I'm on Anderson Pins right now. They're $384. The fine nib on the green one is already out of stock. So, um, The pink one I like quite a bit too, although it looks so much different. It looks a little mm, silly. looks ugly as hell. Okay, if you go down to the one of the last pictures, it's like a zoomed in on the material, and it actually looks like it's pink, translucent with white, like layers in it. Can you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Yes. 
it looks like it looks a lot cooler up close than it does from a distance i'll tell you that um i don't hate it but it would i, don't, I wouldn't mind owning it looks like um like snake scales up close but yeah. from far away it looks like a kitschy <clears throat> beach house walkway like with pink stones i don't know has anyone ever played a zombie game are you talking to the audience that can't respond to us right now yes this is this is not to you jacob <laughs> okay everyone when you think him. of a zombie's skin like the raw just turned zombie like it's all fucked up looking that's what this looks like it's all scaly <laughs> it looks literally like nasty raw skin and i hate it I, I honestly hate it. hate it so much. If you if you have trypophobia, though, you may not like this pen, but I, I don't mind it. It's absolutely disgusting. Like it's, oh. I'm gonna buy it for you for Christmas. The section next to the <laughs> clip is a darker pink. Like it's a darker pink line, and it's so disgusting. I'm dying just looking at it. I didn't guys. think you'd be so opinionated about this. This is. Awesome. I hate it. I have to. I'm clicking off of it. Like it's disgusting me so much. What do you think of the Calico one, the last one? Oh, uh, the Calico's pretty. I don't like it. It's very boring. Yeah. I will give you that. It is a very boring pen. Like, Jade it, is by far the best one. Yes. This is Jade's like, gorgeous. the Calico is like, I want to be safe because I want to take this to work and not, like, make your, make anyone around you throw up or, you know. <laughs> or steal like your green. pen. Um, yes. Well, that that kind of modeled pattern is the same thing my SD that I have here. They gave me the tortoise shell one. Um, it's it's like a vintage finish. A lot of vintage pens, which I'm sure you noticed this at the pen show, had that kind of pattern of those yes, like it does, yeah. double or triple layered materials kind of splattered throughout each other. You know, some people like it. I'm not a huge fan. It may grow on me. This is the first pen I've had with it, but the aesthetics never really appealed to me. So. Mm. But yeah, Jade's Jade looks amazing. Really, really like that pen actually. If yeah, it were, the Jade's nice. if it were like two hundred bucks, I'd totally do it. But celluloid's too expensive for them to bring the price down that low. Yeah, not many sure pens are maybe. It's not th- because it's gold nibs. Josh, I have this exact pen in a basic red acrylic. It was sixty dollars from Japan in America. They're about one hundred and fifty. With the gold nib. Yeah. Oh wow! It's just oh. the it's just the basic platinum thirty seven seventy six. That's and of course, their, their entry no extra level. Fine as well, so keep that in mind. Yeah, there's no extra. No one wants Japanese extra fine, and if you do, you're weird. I'm kidding. The nib no. has a heart on it. Yeah, um, they have a heart shaped breather hole. Have ah, you not I watched my it. review for the platinum thirty seven seventy six? Probably not. Go watch it, <laughs> bastard. Why don't you watch my videos, Josh? I watch no, quite I, a few of your videos. I, I have too many of them. I have over 170 videos already. Jesus, my dude. I know, right? I probably have seen it. I'm gonna be honest with you. How long ago have you did you do it? Oh, it was, it was old, 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 That's old. What, yeah. It's like I've seen. It's like I've the second most popular video I've, I've done though. It has well over 4,000 views. That's not, that doesn't sound like a lot if to a lot of people. Hasn't That's a seen lot it, to me. You should go watch it after seeing this. Yep. Go go look at it. I'm <laughs> plugging it. Pause this video and go watch that one first. Here, I'll send, you, I'll send you a picture of the one I have, Josh. Or I'll post a Discord link and you can look at it. Do it. Yep, 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 yep. Jet pins. Oh, I've seen that one. Yep. Oh. Yeah, compare those prices. Oh. Mm <laughs> hmm. Okay. Celluloid is really cool and all, but I'm not paying an extra, what is that, $230 for that? <laughs> yeah. It's, no, thank uh, you. Yeah. A little no. too much. Yeah. No thanks. Celluloid is just like a plastic, right? Um, It is, but it's a very, very special plastic. They really don't make it all that much anymore because it's very labor intensive and it's very expensive to make. Oh. Um, I believe there's some risk in making it as well. I don't know a ton about it. It's mostly in older pens, and when you do find it in older pens, um, there are a few telltale signs of it um, that you can kind of tell, you know, this is a celluloid. They're fairly sought after. Um, it's kind of, it's like ebonite. It's it's mainly used in older pens. Some modern pens do use it, but they're they're expensive when they do, like this. 
You know what isn't expensive though? Kara's Customs first batch of inks. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> so. Plus, and you're like, oh, we're still talking about the same fucking pan because it's still pretty expensive. <laughs> no. Um, these Kara's Customs inks finally segue. came out. The Canterbury Blue and the Wolf Gray. They are pretty as hell. And they're 10 bucks a bottle. That's not bad. They're 10 bucks a bottle. I've already ordered both of them because apparently they're limited releases. There are only 100 bottles oh, of each shit. being made. Yeah. So if wow. any of you want them, go buy them now. There are only 100 bottles of each color made. Let me reiterate that. Only 100 people are going to have each of these colors. A lot of people, like me, because I'm an idiot, think they need both colors. So there's going to be between 100 and 200 people that have these inks. If you want to be one of those 100 to 200 people, go buy them. Shipping's like 3 bucks. Go crazy. Um, they're very, very classy looking bottles. I like them quite a bit, kind of retro. -y. Yes, they are very nice bottles. Yep, yep, yep. I like the gray a lot. I'm not usually a fan of grays because they're lighter. This looks like a darker gray. Pretty excited about it. The blue looks a little washed out, going to be honest, but I don't know. I may really, really like it. So, we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in those, go buy them now. <coughs> um, they have a cool little story with them. And those are made by Papier, Papier, Papier Plume. I think it's Papier Plume. Um, if you do not know them, they are a pen retailer in Louisiana. They do a lot of really, really cool stuff, and they have the craziest special edition pens I've ever seen in my freaking life. They literally, everyone listening? Ooh. Everyone listening. They literally have a pen that has a piece of the freaking Titanic on it. Like, it's insane. I, and I want it so bad. It looks absolutely These are practical. These very but interesting awesome. looking pens. Oh my god. What, what are you looking at? Their limited editions. Yes. So yep. I really, so I really wanted out. the um, New Orleans Tricentennial edition, like really bad, and I also want that um, the, ti the Titanic pen. Yeah. But do oh, you see the price? Cool. There's only one of them left. Do you see the price on the Titanic pen? It's expensive pen? as hell. Uh. Okay. So everyone who I'm, I'm not gonna bother putting this link down in the description. You can go look at Poppy Plume. It's on their website. If you have the money for this. Please loan it to me for review. I'll be extra <laughs> careful with it. It's eight thousand dollars, <laughs> but it has a piece in the Don't Titanic worry, embedded guys. in it. There's it's another also, one. It's, it's also super nautical themed. Um, if you look at the the back, it has like a pressure gauge for a valve. It has a little porthole that you can see the nib through. It's the detail in this thing's absolutely crazy. Um, the take up. I will say something though. So. Uh, there are a lot of pens that are very, very heavy. Um, you know, some of the Kara's Custom ones weigh quite a bit. You know, some of the Pelicans and things like that weigh a bit. You know, like, um, I think my, the heaviest pen that, I, that I've that i had was like 50, 50 grams. It's a pretty chunky pen. Um, this pen is 170 grams. If you are in America, that is six, heavy bitch. That's six ounces. That's heavier than most of the knives that I own that are made of, like, steel or titanium. Like, it's super, heavy super heavy. Bitch. But it looks awesome. So if you have eight grand, buy it. Let me borrow it. We'll be, like, BFF forever. Uh, but, yeah, Papier Plume. Papier Plume? I don't know. They make their own ink. Excuse me. They make their own inks. They have a <clears> lot of really, really cool colors. There's yes. another one that's only $7,000. Uh, what a steal. It's exactly it's such a steal. Not as pretty, but it's it's a little cheaper. A little or a lot? Because I need a lot. It's a thousand dollars cheaper. That's You could use that as like a down payment for something. Like another pen. I'm not feeling that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's way too much money. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the question is that should I buy this pen? It's how many other pens can I buy with this amount of money? A lot. <laughs> exactly. A every pen we've talked about in every single episode so far. I mean, unless you just absolutely, <laughs> like, have to have a collector's pen, I would, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's very expensive. But, anyway, back to Kara's Customs. Um, they're really big about the Made in America thing, so these are made by Papier Plume in America, which is... Interesting. There aren't too many inks made in America. You know, you have Noodlers, Organic Studio, Especially stuff no, like that. Kind of name. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The name but, is um, yeah. Name kind of throws it off. Which one are you talking about? Papier Plume. They're French, from because they're from the, um, I think they're from the historical or his, French Quarter or something like that in Louisiana. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. I've never been to Louisiana. I want to go so bad. Really? Yeah, they have a. You don't cool. want to go to Louisiana? It's awesome. There's so much cool stuff down there. Bro, I'm like, I want to go to Seattle gay, not not Louisiana gay. Why the hell do you want to go to Seattle? It's miserable. It's Seattle. Why wouldn't you want to go? I don't. I have no reason Ha-ha. to go. I don't know anything in, about Seattle, really. Eh. Nirvana's from there. That's not enough reason for me to go, though. It's enough reason. No. <laughs> Speaking of not Anywho. enough reasons, the Peniter Arco fountain pen. I saw this on Goulet, and they didn't have great pictures or really any pictures and I hear the word Arco and I lose my fucking mind because I want an Arco celluloid pen so bad but and Josh I don't know if I told you this you know it's like $1,250 pen that they let me try at the pen show yes I don't think I need it anymore I think I don't need it I think I probably shouldn't buy it and I don't think I will buy it because it's a lot of money you shouldn't buy it it's a lot of money but it's fucking gorgeous though this pen I, I was like it's like five hundred dollars ish, five fifty. I was like, oh, maybe this is a cheaper uh, alternative. Let's get to talking about this. Let, let me let me let me buy it. It is not the same material. It is not even close. It's like this pin striped weird stuff. The grip looks funny. I don't like it. It's way too tapered. They do have a soft um, quill nib though, which is interesting. That's a, a quill nib's the Peniter thing. The, the nib, nib looks absolutely nib beautiful. Looks cool. though. Yeah, but you're paying <laughs> for that. You're definitely paying for that. Also, it's almost six hundred and fifty dollars, U.S. dollars. So, yeah, depending on where you get it from, yeah. Just saying. So, from here, it's I just wanted to rush by that, tell much. everyone that if you see the word Arco, don't get too excited just because it's half price. Um, it's very you know. pretty. It's very stylized. I would say that's a good way to put it. Well, Peniter's actually started by one of the co-founders of Visconti. Or Peniter wasn't started by. Let me let me back up. Peniter has been a paper company for hundred hundred plus years. Oh. Dante Del Vecchio, who was a co-founder of Visconti, left Visconti, joined Peniter, and helped them design the first <laughs> pen. So this pen is designed by Dante Del Vecchio. Peniter was not his conception or anything like that, but the pen is. So the pen is very stylized. It's very Italian. Um, so that means expensive with fancy materials, fancy fit and finish, and a fancy price markup. So keep that in mind. Italian pens are normally so, pretty high. When you said stripes, I thought you meant a couple because I only saw a couple on the oh, first no. picture. But mm-hmm. this is like a lot, a lot of stripes. This is like gesture stripes. stripes. It's a lot of stripes. Oh, that killed a lot of it for me. Because I was like, if it's yeah. one stripe, I can maybe overlook it. But this uh, is mm-mm. bad. It's not okay. You know what Love is okay clip. and is actually pretty. affordable and is pretty? The Monte Grappa Elmo fountain pen. Why Elmo? Um, shut up. The first one's red. <laughs> and this is, this is a Goulet exclusive. First, the first Monte Grappa Elmo pen was red, which I thought was very fitting. Um, I think those are gone now. They looked pretty cool, but I just wasn't in the market for that something at the price. This one looks more interesting to me. I really like this color. This is the Verde Alta Piano. It's about 175 bucks, but it's a really, really cool material, and I love Monte Grappa's nibs. They look awesome. But the material is really, really nice, kind of like a spring green with a lot of depth to it. Uh, really, really nice material. I like it a lot. You don't sound like you like it. <clears throat> it's not my shade of green. It's very... Mm, yeah, what you said earlier is probably a good color for it. It's very overly vibrant green. It's very, very springy. And it's certain lighting. It looks almost like cucumber green, which is a fucking terrible color. Like green apple green. Yes, it's very green apple green. It even comes with like the darker spots in it to be green apple green. It's very pretty. I mean, I would love it. 
probably not, you know, in this specific shade of green, but it's a very pretty pen. And I love the nib. The nib's really nice. I love Monocropa's nibs. It's it's a really, really cool design there. They're very interesting. I've never seen one look like that. Yeah, they, they do some pretty cool stuff with it. Um, I really wow. like their, their patterning. But yeah, this pen isn't that bad, and I think the material's really interesting. Um, I don't know that it's for me, and I probably won't be buying it, but, you know. <clears throat> like I said, it is a um, limited edition Goulet exclusive. There are 200 of them, so be active if you want one that came out in November. Just keep in mind, again, there is no extra fine. No extra fine, but it is a number six size nib, I believe. Let me double, triple check that. Yeah, I think it is number. It's a number six size nib. Does it explicitly say it? It does. Number six size Yovo yeah. nib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So comes with the with the Yovo nib and a converter. Number six size. So any number six size nib that you have, you can put it in there. If you have a titanium triple broad nib. You can put it in there. If you have an ultra extra fine architect grind nib, you can put it in there. As long as it's number six size. Keep that in mind. Put it in, put it in. No, we're not we're not going that route. We're <laughs> we're fa- fairly clean on this show. Um so Josh, a but couple episodes ago like we talked about the Lamy studio in terracotta and olive. Yes. yes and yes, we yes, both yes. liked the terracotta color. Yes. But they seem to be Europe exclusive for the time, so we backed out of it, didn't do it. Mm. They come into America. Yay! We have the Lamy Studio Terracotta. It comes October 16th, so that's 11 days. If you want it, 11 <clears throat> days. You 11 can days, get it with a freaking guys. gold nib if you want. Um, that is an extra $89. But don't know why you want to. But I gotta say, that's it's like $170 for a gold nib fountain pen, limited edition color. It's not actually all that much, to be honest. Um, you I can get it with a black nib to. that won't match anything else on the pen if you want to do that. <laughs> or, or you can get it with a regular steel nib that matches the trim on the pen. This is true. The gold I, nib is very... uh, It's a good, like... Oh, yeah, you can have a gold... Well, see, the gold actually wouldn't be that bad because it's silver around it. It's just the gold... Yeah, it's the gold the strip. Middle. So I can take, but the black nib would be kind of like the hell are you trying to match because the sure as hell isn't nothing on the pen exactly <laughs> yeah but it's very pretty i actually really like it it's very very pretty am i buying this yes that's expensive that's not that's almost 90 dollars jacob you want something that's over 300 dollars. this is nothing i'm not made of money you are not that's why i have people send me free stuff this would be something you should have asked to be sent for free. I don't think Lamy is going to send me this. Or the American distributor for Lamy. I don't think they're going to send me this. Reach out. Be like, hey. I'm tired like of reaching, man. That's hard. Well, companies need to start reaching out to me and be like, hey, do you want to review our stuff so I can tell them no? <laughs> that is not how this game works, Jacob. It's not a game. But yeah, game. Um, if you're interested in that kind of like reddish, orangish brown color, this they also beautiful have beautiful clay color. Right? They also have the um, much less pretty green option if you're interested in that. This it is not so nearly as cool. Green. You should still feel bad for buying it. It's kind of kind ugly. Of, yeah. And everyone's going to judge you and be like, ooh, why didn't you get the terracotta? What kind of sick, <laughs> sad excuse for a human being are you? Blah, blah, blah. So don't go through that. Buy the terracotta one. Okay? Buy the terracotta. Not that we're trying to make you feel a certain yeah, way. To no, buy no, I, a pill, I don't want. I don't obviously. want to sway your opinion, but I mean, just at all. Just don't fuck up. Yeah, you know. And don't fuck up. Um, if you go to the new items on Nibsmith as well, Josh, you'll see the Aurora Optima Olive Fountain Pen. This is one of the uglier pens I've seen today. Um, I want to get your opinion on whether you think this is ugly or gorgeous. Oh, this is fucking hideous. <laughs> Dude, why do you gotta do this to me every time? <laughs> it looks so bad. Um, uh, there, there are. It, this was originally uh, exclusive to Spain. There were 150 <clears throat> of them made. I don't know how Dan from the Nibsmith got his hands on this, but I'm not buying it. <laughs> there ain't no way. You can get it in a double bra, though. Maybe I will buy it. Oh no, that's $765. 
Holy crap, there's an there's an uptick for that double broad. It goes from seven fifteen Ugh. to seven it's a fifty dollar increase for the double broad. Or a stub. It doesn't say what size stub, it says factory stub. So you know <laughs> But it's an it's an Aurora pen, again Italian, again fancy, again expensive. So keep that in mind. You know, Aurora's are gonna be really, really high. I'd love to try one out though. Some of their materials are really, really, really cool and really, really pretty, but this one's definitely not for me. I'll, oh no, I'll, this is I'll like out there. this That's is rough looking. This is ugly. My guys, all yeah. power to you if you like this, but like. But you're wrong. But you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sir no. or madams, you guys need to choose something else. Like <clears throat> the nibs, pretty. The like everything Aurora, else. Aurora's nibs look really, really cool. Except the color, like. God, the color is so ugly. Down the price. Well, I, I don't even look at that price. I can't stand the way it looks. I'm not going to look at the price. $700. I, I, I don't want to know. <laughs> it's not important. Okay. A lot of green has been in this episode. So and let's lots. go ahead and move on to the Sailor 1911 large or standard. Up to you. Key Lime. I was wondering what is going on with this large or standard. So, pen. um, like do you remember the, the the orange pin that I got from the pin show? Not top of my head, but yeah. Let me send you a picture real quick, and you will see what I'm talking about. Everyone who is listening and doesn't know, if you don't watch my channel, go watch my channel. Like, why are you listening to this if you don't watch my channel? <laughs> anyway, um, I not got to the dissuade Sailor... anyone that's new. I got the Sailor 1911 Large Royal Tangerine. Um, they have a few other colors. This one's Key Lime. It is a much in, much more inferior color. Oh my god, yay! It's the actual vibrant orange! It's a good color. I, I like it a lot. Anyway, it's got that from the show. I got the large. Um, if you could watch my video of that, you can see what I mean. The standard is a fairly small pen. And it's up to you which one you want, <clears> but... I don't know. Um, some people may like smaller pens. I personally can't stand smaller pens. So... The large was, I tried them both out, large was for me. So I bought the large. The large is about a, a little less than $100 more, but it's, you know, a decent size bigger. Um, they both come with gold nibs. And the main reason I included this is because, Josh, you seem to have, I, I, I don't hate this color. I don't like it that much, though. It's kind of boring to me. What do you think? I am actually not opposed to this color. Hmm. This is not a terrible color. Um, it lives up to its name. It's literally the color of key lime. So I'm like, yes, this is good. This is this is very nice. I hope <clears throat> and pray, God, do I pray so much for this, that this is actually a duller tone than it's the not. actual it's pen metallic. itself. Why would you do that to me? I mean, it actually says right right here, um, Shh. with the same distinct metallic sheen as the story me see. Um, I will send you a link to that pen real quick, Josh. Um, the Stormy Sea, the Royal Tangerine, and this one here, the Key Lime, are all in the line of the North American exclusive um, Sailor 1911s. So, you know, you can't get these anywhere else but America, so keep that in mind. I don't know why they would do that, but I don't know. I don't like region exclusives. It kind of, it bugs me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, if I had to choose kind of... between the three, honestly, this would have to be the last choice. It's not the prettiest shade of green, but damn if it's not the best shade of green I've seen today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would take the orange, which one I got first. I really like the, the, the Stormy really Sea, nice. though. The Stormy Sea is really cool. The orange one is the nicest. Okay, the reason why I was asking what the difference was is when it's you go down size. to the... Um... When you go down to what? When you go down to the specs, the only thing that's different is the weight yeah, because the they. Links. That's about it. Um, the diameter of the grip and the body are different as well. Um, the, like it's just weird because it's like the first. The 1911 part of the... large is literally just a larger version of the pen. It's longer. It weighs more. It's thicker. Um, or girthier if you prefer. Um, mm, gotta love that girth. <laughs> it's a little bit more expensive. They hold the same amount of ink because they use the same converter. So don't let that sway you. Um, the, the biggest difference that a lot of people point out apart from the size is the nib. So the nib on the 1911 large is a 21 karat <clears> gold <throat> nib. Um, Sailor's pretty popular for the 21k nibs. 
they're um, they're not flexible. Don't flex a 21 karat gold nib. It doesn't have enough spring to bounce back. You will spring it and you will damage it and you'll be like, why the hell did I do this? I'm an idiot. And yeah, you will be. So um, the large has a 21 karat gold nib. The standard has a 14 karat gold nib. So you'll notice um, the 21 karat gold is going to be a little softer typically. Yeah. Um, the one I have though is not a soft nib by any means. I have a hard medium nib. So keep that in mind. Um, you do have a variety of nib options. Uh, Sailor's really good about that, so you get an extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, a zoom, and a music nib. Music nibs are freaking enormous. Everyone should know what a zoom nib is if you're actually looking at buying a Sailor. If you're not looking at buying <coughs> a Sailor, you might not. Josh, I don't think you know what a zoom nib is because you've never bothered to look for you know a Sailor pen. No. Um, yeah, so a zoom nib is it's a very special, almost triangular-shaped nib. Um, the lower the angle is to the paper, so the closer you get to laying the pen flat on the paper, the, the broader the line is going to be. The closer oh, you get to making the pen perpendicular to the paper, so pointing oh, straight down, I know what then that is. the more narrow it's going to be. So it's a very cool I know grind. What that is. Yeah. So if you, if you write with a really low angle a lot of the time, you're gonna, like I do, you're going to get a broad line. If you write really, really high up, you're going to get a fine, finer line, not really fine. But you can get some really, really cool variation with those. Um, so there, that's, I, I would love to pick one of those up at some point. I just haven't found the pen that I wanted on yet. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm, uh, I don't hate this color. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to pay for it though. That's for certain. Yeah. I'm pretty I'm not impartial kind of green, though, to so. the color itself. I was just, the reason I was asking was because the weight and the dimensions for it are the exact same on each one. And I'm like, shouldn't they be different? I'm confused. Well, if you go down to the bottom at the dimensions down there, it's different. Yeah, um, everything down there is different. It just the, the shipping dimensions very, are, is very, what the top part is. Okay, I was saying because it's yeah. very copy paste. Otherwise, I was just yeah. kind of like, this is stupid. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's that's there. Um, Sailor does some really really cool stuff, but I don't. I'm not in love with this one. Maybe if I saw the metallic sheen in person. I'd be a bit more inclined to actually take a look and check it out, but yeah, I'm not I'm not too big on this one as it is. Just that that green just doesn't do it for me. No, the greens, the green's not ugly. Like I said, it's probably the better green that we've seen today, but it's still not a good green. Yeah, it's um, it's okay. It's not yeah, great. It's okay. It's not horrible. It's okay. It's it's. The bubble sore of the pens. Oh, you throwing shade. <laughs> I like my bubble sores. You're hurling that shade. I like my bubble sores. Bubble sore is number one for a reason, but it just. Damn. It's really the ugliest of the three starters. It's throwing like him great. right under the bus. He's a plan. He'll get back up. Don't worry savage. about it. Savage. <laughs> just, just savage. Oh. But yeah, um, it looks okay. It's interesting-ish. Just know what you're getting into. Yeah. Um, it is gonna have a bit of a metallic finish. I personally think it's again, like you mentioned, the kind of least cool. Yeah. Of it. Like it'll get the job done, but you're gonna be like, man, this is kind of boring. I wish I had a better pen. <laughs> <laughs> That's like awful. you're not you're not paying. Two hundred dollars for a boring ass pen, guys. Just suck it I up mean, and get you, a different color. You are if you're buying that. Yeah. It's it's uh, bright. It's bright. It's um, very bright. But the shade is nothing new. So. That's about it. It's it's a standard green, guys. Yeah, it's it's basic. It's a basic bitch pen. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but I'll let you say it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It, it's a fairly basic pen, so, you know. But I think that's going to be it for today. I think today was shorter than normal. Yep, yeah, only about 45 minutes. Look at that. Even yeah, look at that. Topics. I may be able to upload it in a good amount of time today. I wouldn't count on it. Uh, you always do this to me, Jacob. <laughs> you make me feel sad. All right. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, if you Thank have you any all questions, so much. If you have any questions <laughs> for me or the Josh who interrupts me. Let me know, leave them down in the comments, and we will try our very, very best to get to them and check them out and get back to you. 
But I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Stop interrupting me. And (laughs) (laughs) and do check out my other videos. The power of editing will make it like I'm not interrupting him, guys. Don't worry. Oh, gosh. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just edit all of that out, and then I'll sound like a crazy person just randomly screaming, there don't interrupt me. There you go. But yeah, um, thanks for listening, guys. If you made it this far, kudos to you. And yes, kudos. He just, he just doesn't stop. <laughs> no, I don't. I forgot. Have a good night, everybody. Yep. <laughs> Bye.